the attainment of an operational intercontinental ballistic missile is a vital concern to the national security. In June of 1954, this mission was established by the Chief of Staff in a priority directive to the Commander, ARDC. Today, it is the Remote Sensing Systems Directorate's mission to provide global, persistent, infrared surveillance and environmental monitoring capabilities to our warfighters and the nation. If you think about you know, what, where missile warning started in the beginning, we were worried about picking up ICBM launches as, as they lit off in order to warn our, our national command authorities that, uh, that we had a potential inbound uh, missile so that we could stage ourselves to respond in an appropriate manner. But the data that we're pulling now allows us to not only see and understand large-scale missiles, but understand what uh, theater missiles uh, are, are lighting off. So from a, a tactical application standpoint, that allows us to project when there are theater missiles flying into uh, Afghanistan, into Iraq, uh, into other uh, areas where we have troops in harm's way. that can put the alert out to either shelter or to take action in our, uh, our missile defense architecture to take that missile out. RS contributes to the Department of Defense mission to deter war and protect the security of the U.S. by providing timely and accurate missile warning defense information. With the merge of the overhead persistent infrared family of systems and the DOD weather systems, RS provides the capability to protect against global and theater ballistic missile attacks and the detection and tracking of space and terrestrial weather in near real time. We've got a long history of delivering weather capability uh, from the DMSP constellation, which is uh, now 20 plus years old. Another Air Force satellite system is making daily contributions to the lives of every American. The Defense Meteorological Satellite System routinely provides its military weather pictures to the public. And we're moving forward into uh, the next generation weather uh, system. So the uh, weather system follow on is uh, on track, moving forward for uh, uh, authorization to, to move out and buy one satellite with an option for another. And beyond that, we're looking at how do we uh, integrate across uh, with partners in uh, NOAA and the other services to deliver weather capabilities for warfighters across the globe. Remote sensing is on the forefront of the space enterprise vision of building out our nation's capability to fight a war that extends into space. We're already starting to realize the increased sensor technology uh, and technical maturity that uh, is available in industry that can help us get after dimmer targets. But beyond that, we're also looking at increasing the resiliency of our spacecraft to the threats they'll deal with. We're going to take advantage of all of the work that the Space Enterprise Vision team did to understand exactly how do we integrate an architecture at all levels. Uh, the uh, highly elliptical orbit satellites, the uh, geosynchronous orbit satellites, the ground system, to understand and, and get after both the strategic missile warning requirements and the tactical missile warning requirements, and how do we deliver that capability in a contested environment. It's not just the command and control of the satellites, it's how data is utilized once it is received. So the next generation of remote sensing satellites will pull down somewhere between 10 and 64 times the data that the current generation field. That amount of data is, is, would quickly overwhelm the system that we have in place. And so we're looking forward within our uh, tactical applications lab to understand how do we better use that data. Working with industry, um, working with academia, working within uh, our sister services to bring together the best minds to understand what the SIBRS data uh, can bring forward. And how do we integrate that with both the infrared data and the weather data to provide capability that our warfighters need every day. It's a total team effort between the geographically separated units within RS and locally at the Space and Missile Systems Center. Already some, some important things have happened. We've built out the first instantiation of a lab in Boulder where we can do that collaborative work. We've had the initial operational capability of our Operational Battle Space Awareness Center at Buckley Air Force Base that the 460F stood up. And so the collaboration between the R&D environment within remote sensing and the operational environment within the 460th Space Wing allows Air Force Space Command to field capabilities quickly and get after the emerging threats by efficiently using data to meet warfighter requirements. In the end, it's going to be uh, SMCRS that is going to deliver that capability to the warfighter.
this effort. The United States will never waver from our determination to protect our people and the peace and security of the world.